What's up guys, we're here at Waterton Lakes National Park. And in this video, we're gonna give you a full travel guide with everything you need to know before you go, including how to do the famous Crypt Lake hike, which we're on right now. So hope you enjoy it. Waterton Lakes National Park is located in the southwestern corner of Alberta and straddles the US border with Montana's Glacier National Park. Nestled in the heart of the majestic Canadian Rocky Mountains, visiting this park is an extraordinary experience. Spanning an area of over 500 square kilometers, Waterton Lakes National Park is a diverse blend of picturesque valleys, breathtaking peaks, and glistening turquoise lakes. In this video, we'll first share our favorite day hikes, followed by other things you can do in the national park. At the end, We'll also give travel tips that will help you plan your trip. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. The most popular hike in the entire park is the Crypt Lake Trail. To access the trailhead, you'll need to take a short boat ride across Upper Waterton Lake. The boat departs from the Waterton Town site and drops hikers off at Crypt Landing. We bought our ticket in the morning itself at the little kiosk. You can check the current shuttle timetable via the link in the description below the video. The hike is about 18.3 kilometers or 11.3 miles round trip and typically takes between 5 to 7 hours to complete. After getting off the boat, you'll start a long uphill walk through a forest and then continue through a beautiful mountain framed valley. The highlight is of course getting to Crypt Lake itself, an emerald colored glacial fed lake surrounded by towering cliffs. But to reach the lake, you'll have to complete a short but thrilling section first, starting off with a ladder. So here's where you come to the ladder. It's a little bit sketchy because there's a big drop off down there. Then you're gonna go through a tunnel and hit some chains. So just make sure you go slow, be careful, and always keep at least one hand on all this stuff at all times. Bear's Hump is a must-do hike in the park. This short but steep out and back trail is two and a half kilometers or one and a half miles and takes you to the summit of a rounded hill. The elevation gain is about 227 meters or 744 feet, so almost anyone can make it up to Bear's Hump. From the top, you get some of the most incredible views over the Waterton Lakes, the town site, and the surrounding peaks. And on a clear day, you can easily see Montana from here. Carthew Alderson Trail is another stunning day hike in Waterton Lakes National Park. There are different ways to hike this trail, but we highly recommend doing it point to point, from Cameron Lake to Waterton Town Site. If you do it this way, the trail is approximately 19 kilometers or 11.8 miles, with about 800 meters or 2,634 feet of elevation gain. 
there's also about 1,000 meters or 3,280 feet of elevation loss. However, you do need to book a shuttle to get to Cameron Lake, and they tend to book up quickly. If you can't secure a spot, you can hike from Cameron Lake to the Carthew Lakes and then back, which is the most scenic part of the trail. The trail takes you through dense forests and alpine meadows. Unfortunately, the forest along this trail has been mostly burnt due to a major wildfire that occurred in 2017. After leaving the forest, you'll get to a mountain ridge with views of numerous lakes. Once you get to the ridge here, you can actually take a little detour to like that hill behind me and it offers some really spectacular views of some other lakes. The Waterton Lakes National Park trail system spans over 200 kilometers or 124 miles and offers a wide range of other hiking options. These include easy strolls as well as more challenging treks. We included a few other great day hikes on the screen here for you in case you want to do them yourself. Now we'll cover other things to do in the park besides hiking. The Red Rock Parkway is a picturesque road that passes by stunning landscapes, waterfalls, and viewpoints. You might even see bears along the way. At the end of the road, you'll find the Red Rock Canyon, a unique geologic marvel with vibrant red rock walls carved by the waters of Blackiston Creek. You can explore above the canyon walls as well as in between them, but be aware that this is another area that was impacted by the wildfire. It consumed a large portion of the Blackiston Valley, which contained dense and ancient forests. Waterton Town Site is a charming village that offers a lovely mix of natural beauty and small town charm. You can stroll along the main street lined with local shops, boutiques, and restaurants, take a leisurely walk by the waterfront where you can admire the stunning Waterton Lake and surrounding mountains, or learn about the rich history of the area through informative displays at the waterfront. The visitor center at the edge of town also offers great information on the area with interactive displays. A site you can't miss in Waterton Lakes National Park is Cameron Falls, located just at the edge of the town site. It's easily walkable from anywhere in town and is one of Waterton's most photographed spots. Here, fresh mountain water flows over steps of ancient rock into a deep basin. Drive to Cameron Lake for a serene and tranquil experience amidst the untouched wilderness of Waterton Lakes National Park. Surrounded by towering mountains, the water here sparkles under the peaks. It's a great place to rent a kayak or canoe and explore the lake, or you can simply relax by the shoreline and soak up the sun. Perched on a bluff overlooking Waterton Lake, the historic Prince of Wales Hotel is known for its stunning views and iconic design. Step inside the grand lobby and marvel at the hotel's rich history, 
or savor a high tea in the beautiful Royal Stewart dining room. The afternoon tea features a vast selection of quality teas and a variety of tasty sandwiches, pastries, and desserts. Since there's limited availability, we definitely recommend booking your table in advance. We included a link to book a table in the description below the video. Finally, Upper Waterton Lake provides the perfect oasis for relaxing and water-based activities. Bask in the warm rays of the sun, rent a stand-up paddleboard, or kayak for a more adventurous time. If you're okay with cold water, you can also take a refreshing swim in the crystal clear waters. Ooh. As we promised at the beginning of the video, we'll now share three travel tips for Waterton Lakes National Park. First, pack and dress appropriately. This park is known for its unpredictable weather and really high winds. In fact, it's often referred to as the windiest place in Canada, with gusts that can reach up to 170 kilometers or 105 miles per hour. Therefore, it's crucial to pack layers and dress in appropriate outdoor gear. Make sure to bring rain gear, warm clothing, sturdy hiking shoes, and insect repellent. Second, you need to plan ahead. Before visiting Waterton Lakes National Park, research and plan your activities accordingly. Make reservations for campsites or accommodations well in advance, especially during the peak season from June to September. We stayed a few nights in a hotel as well as some nights at the Townsite Campground. This campground is managed by Parks Canada and can be reserved online through their official website. It's best to book several months ahead, right when the booking system opens. There's also an overflow camping available, and it was open at 6 p.m. daily at the time of this video, but spots are limited and they definitely fill up quickly. We included a link to the official campground reservation system, as well as some hotel recommendations in the description below the video. Finally, carry bear spray and be wildlife aware. Waterton Lakes National Park is home to various wildlife species, including grizzly bears. It's essential to carry bear spray and know how to use it properly. Additionally, be alert and mindful of wildlife safety practices, such as storing food properly, observing animals from a safe distance, and respecting their habitat. When visiting Waterton Lakes, you may also want to visit the nearby Glacier National Park in Montana. If you do, make sure to watch our full Glacier video for the best things to do there. And if you're planning your Waterton Lakes National Park trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below. We also included other links in the description that will help you with your trip, such as an interactive map to get to all the places we mentioned. We'll catch you on the next adventure.